what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Worst effing gamer here, guys. And today we're gonna play some uh, Marvel Strike Force. Now, just real quick, the game is not out just yet. It's not released in the USA. Uh, it's making its way around the world, guys. Slowly but surely, it's coming along our way. I'm thinking within the next month or so, month or two months. I'm not really sure, but it looks like you know it's pretty much all finished. They're ready to release. Uh, probably just fixing up a couple of things. But today, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take. A look at the arena guys i want to show you how the arena works so you can kind of get ready when the you know when the game is finally released you will actually know how to do it and so you don't fall behind because it's actually a pretty cool feature that the way they, they do the arena i actually personally like it the only thing is it's it's very time consuming guys so right now they are running an event the event is uh, as you can see there's two characters there you can go for um black widow or you can go for quick you it's up to you which one you want to go for guys so for personally, I'm going for Quake because I already have Black Widow, so I'm going to show you how it works. You get, you get in there, you uh, you know, go into your setup. Uh, you can check the rewards right here. Now, first of all, the rankings, you will not see what ranking you are until it's over. So you're not going to see. You see it's going to run out in three days and three hours. You see your points, and then the three out of 14 is your milestones completed, guys. So let's check out what the milestones are. So uh, as you do battles, you will complete milestones, earn points, and the more points you earn, the higher you can get up there. If you can get to milestone 14, you are doing pretty well. You're probably gonna be somewhere in the high rankings. So that's kind of how you judge it. Uh, the way to get better milestones is you gotta get better tiers and a better multiplier, guys. That's how you get more points. Now, how do we do that? Let's go into a battle right now. As you can see, my opponent is less his power level is a lot less than me, so I should win this battle. But here's the trick that I wanted to show you guys really quickly. Let's go into the battle. Now, I'm going to slow down this battle. And we're probably going to finish them up really quickly. But, the emphasis of the arena is to use as many characters as possible, guys. That's how you climb the rankings. Now, first of all, let me take a look at some of my... Uh, my heroes here. So I got Black Widow here. I actually love Black Widow a lot. She's very, very cool. First thing you want to do is go into her stealth ability. When While she has stealth, she actually is more powerful. So running her on a stealth team is pretty good. Uh, Black Eye here. Let's take a look. Middle ability for um, Black Eye. Wait a minute. Why am I calling him Black Eye? His name is Hawkeye. Never mind. So Hawkeye's uh, second ability is going to clear some positive effects. So nobody right now has positive effects on them. So we're going to go with his basic attack, which just simply does damage, as you can see. I love the animations, though. I mean, check it out. The animations are incredible. They just make you want to keep watching them play. You know what I mean? Uh, this is my healer right now. The, the medic is okay. Not the best healer in the world, but whatever. So let's take a look. Elektra has a really, really awesome ability here, guys. So... This ability is super powerful. Attack primary target for 215 damage. Anything over 150 is really, really good. Usually around 100 is okay. Anything over 200 is crazy good. Plus 15 uh, damage per negative effect on the target. All right, so the more negative effects, the more damage. It's incredible. So right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use it on our opponent's Electra. I think this should finish them off. So yeah, so Electra's problem is... Low defense. Oh my gosh, she's still alive. Now she's going to kill me. There she goes attacking Hawkeye. Ooh, it's still alive. That's a powerful attack. More negative effects, more damage. Just remember that, guys. So you want to have her on a, uh, a team that probably applies a lot of negative effects. Oh my god. Winter Soldier. Uh, he looks awesome right now. So let's take a look. Right now we are on um, Luke Cage. So pretty much Luke's, Luke Cage primary... Uh, role because each hero has their own roles guys your goal is to figure out what role each hero is going to have on your team so his team his role is taunt and defense guys so he's pretty much the guy that's going to take all the damage as much as possible and then try to survive now this first ability from our uh black widow here is incredible because take a look attack primary target for 85 percent damage that's okay that's not the best part but during stealth 50 percent chance to copy all positive effects on your primary primary target 20 percent chance to clear each copied positive effect so that is what i really like so if she's in stealth which she is right now and your opponent has uh positive effects on them you will copy those well you have 50 percent chance to copy those and then 20 percent chance to clear them from your opponent so that's pretty cool right now you know we're attacking electra so she doesn't have any positive effects so it doesn't really affect her but 
I'm just thinking, I'm always thinking for the future, guys. I'm always thinking team combinations. How? She's got to revive. Um, I'm always thinking of different team combinations, all right? So that's kind of why I'm thinking about. But here's Hawkeye again. This should finish her off. She's dead. There's Spider-Man swinging through. That's pretty dope. Now, this is Electra's stealth ability. Boom! Now she's in stealth mode. Uh, when you're in the arena, always, always, always try to take out your highest primary target, meaning whoever you think is going to cause the most damage to you, you got to take them out as fast as possible, all right? The other guys, you can slowly take them out, but for right now, you know, I'm pretty sure uh, Captain America has got a taunt, he's got defense up, so he helps out his team a lot. Uh, Punisher, he dishes out a lot of damage, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm trying to take out the Punisher as fast as I can before he starts actually doing some work and uh, takes anybody out. So here's Captain America, taunt, defense up, I knew it. That doesn't help me out at all, that's actually pretty bad. Spider-Man, and, oh my god, look at him, he's just going ham and bananas. Oh my god. Alright, now we're gonna go with Bulletproof right now. Oh, Deathproof, I'm sorry, that's Deathproof, meaning that if he was gonna die this turn, if he gets hit with a big attack, he's gonna die, he survives, he doesn't die, so that's pretty good. Now, this is a good chance right now for, to use Hawkeye's second ability 25 chance uh for 25 percent damage unavoidable and clears three positive effects so let's go ahead captain america watch this boom clears out his positive effects and they're gone as, as you can see captain america does not have any positive effects on him right now so he's no defense up no taunt which means i i'm free to attack anybody i want uh, last ability here for Black Widow, attack primary target, 140 damage, apply stun for one turn, chance to chain up to two uh, adjacent targets, dealing 80% damage, apply bleed. So this is a really nice, uh, that's a really, really nice ability there. It's got a lot of different things you can do, bleed, attack adjacent, you know, uh, hero, so it's all good. Now, I guess we're going to take out Spider-Man because I clicked on him, so it doesn't really matter. We'll take out Spider-Man at this point. But normally, guys, you can run this at three times the speed. If you, Obviously, if you don't want to uh, watch all the animations. And it's a lot easier. It makes the battle faster. It goes really, really quickly. Or you can watch it. You know, you might actually like to watch. Uh, if you don't know, all you got to do is click on their little ability to read what it does. Uh, to attack all enemies for 50%. Unavoidable, unavoidable damage. Apply blind. All right, whatever. Let's use that one. That should be good right there. Boom! So, AoE attack, guys. And blinds. Boom, blinded both of them right there. Now we're going to go for Captain America. We should be able to take him out here. Whoa, look at Luke Cage. Go, Luke Cage. I want to change my medic. I don't think that this is uh, the best healer in the game. Pretty sure there's a couple of other better ones. All right, I'm going back into stealth mode right now. Speed up on my whole team. Boom, not my whole team, but that's three out of the five. You have a chance to actually speed up on everybody if you get lucky, but... All right, here we go. This one should kill off Captain America. Yep, yep, dead meat. Wow, yo, look at those animations. Isn't that awesome? This game is incredible, guys. I love the animations. I really can't wait for this game to be released, you know, in America. It's going to be incredible. I'm going to have a fun time playing this game. Woohoo! Boom! And this should, this should kill him right here. Sorry about that, guys. It got cut off at the end there, but pretty much the battle was over and I won. So it shows you your tier, your milestone points. So you got 527 points and your rewards So once you reach the milestone. So let's go ahead and finish that one off. And that's pretty much one battle right there, guys. And then all you got to do is keep going back. But here is the trick that I wanted to show you in the beginning. Now it's going to cost you these battle... You know what I mean? It's going to cost you these battle tokens, these battle uh, timers... To actually battle so it says it costs me 25 why do you say at the top you can see that's how many i have 1426 uh, in order for me to battle again i need to spend 25 of them now it doesn't seem like a lot but the more you battle with the same team the more you go through now let's go ahead and try to change our team this is how you get the 25 from there's five from each of my characters because I guess that's how much they've been used. The more you use them, the more it's going to cost you to use those same heroes. If I were to take somebody out, for instance, let's go ahead and take out Hawkeye and put in uh, Bullseye. He's full, he's fresh, he hasn't been used in a battle yet, so he's got zero cost. If we go back, let's hit ready. If I go back, now my cost is 20. So that's how you know which heroes you have to use and which heroes you cannot use. The best way to do it is have a few different separate teams guys so let's say that this is my main team i want to use i want to save this team for when i face the you know the main the harder stages so this one i'm at 10,000, you know 726 i want to save this team for when i face a, a similar 
type, you know, power level team. Uh, you could have your secondary team, but it requires you to have a lot more units. So that's how they get you to have more heroes in the game. So have as many heroes as you can handle. And then you make up different teams. So if you have three, four different different sets of teams, you can use this and you can get more battles out of them. All right. So if your cost, if your battle cost is zero each time you battle, that means you're saving up all of your timers, which means you can battle a lot more than other people, which means you're going to climb up through the rankings a lot more. All right. That's how they do it. But this is going to require a lot of battling, guys. Uh, I wish they... The one thing that I really, really wish if the developers ever watch my video or any anything like that is, a, you know, implement an auto battle, meaning skip a battle function. That would be great. So you battle, you just skip the battle. You don't really have to watch the whole fight. It just tells you if you won or lost. And then you this way, you can go through a lot more battles this way. Because doing it manually, there's no way you can keep up with this daily, guys. It will take forever um it kind of you know what i mean it kind of sucks for people that actually have to work and have to do things you can't really battle a hundred times per day that's what some people probably do if you have a lot of the characters you can battle a lot more than others all right so that's kind of uh, my only thing about it guys but other than that i think this game is incredible you know i'm loving it i'm spending a lot of time playing it every day and i can't wait for it to get released all right so when you guys when it's released i will let you know don't worry trust me on that i'll let you guys know and if you are excited about this game drop a like let me know that you're gonna play this game uh and you know i'll make a lot more videos about it showing some heroes and stuff like that but other than that i'm out of here guys i will catch you guys on the next marvel strike force till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night